Welcome back to the Talking Chop podcast brought to you by the folks at Chief of Staff KC, your local trusted talent scouts making connections that matter. Right. Joining us this week is the owner of Meyer Music, as well as chairman of uh, Band of Angels KC, Mike Meyer. Mike, thanks so much for being with us this week. Hope you weren't out at Arrowhead on Sunday <laughs> like right. Lucas and I were. We saw each other in the t- <laughs> yeah. at our tailgates, but yeah. man. Oof. Yeah. No, I was not. I was in the comfort of my own couch and <laughs> Smart. Home, So, but kudos to you guys for sticking it out. Yeah, it was, was a, it was a rough one. I mean, that fire we saw coming back to the Chiefs after that victory in Philadelphia got quickly drenched by that mm-hmm. thunderstorm and Josh Allen on hey, Sunday hey. night. I mean, just we'll we'll kind of cover that embarrassing loss coming up here shortly. But first, we're bringing you our position of the week, brought to you by the folks at Chief of Staff KC. Um, we're a recruiting firm based in Brookside and we'll bring you the best accounting and finance, admin, operations, sales, and marketing talent that Kansas City has to offer. So Lucas, what do we have this week? So this week I've been talking a lot about earlier in the previous episodes, some like AP clerks, some staff accountants, some senior accountant level positions. We have an exclusive CFO level search. Um, so for any controllers or aspiring to be a CFO or any current CFOs, roughly 100 million to 150 million in revenue type of companies. We'd love to have a conversation as we don't necessarily receive the CFO level positions very often. So this will be a hot order. Nice. It's an exciting one and uh, it will be filled very quickly. So that's the position of the week from my accounting and finance team. Uh, I always want to throw in some positions of the week for the administrative division as well. They're looking for customer service reps still. And so if you're tired of making 15, 16 an hour at Target or in the retail world, you'd like to get your feet wet a little bit, Tiffany and Briley would love to have a conversation with you also. Cool. Yep, that's it. Well, yeah, those are the positions of the week brought to you by Chief of Staff KC, your local talent scouts, making connections that matter. All righty. Mike, it's been a blast getting to know you this year, and I appreciate you meeting me for coffee. You know, however, you've made a, a huge impact in KC so far. Not everyone might know your story, so I'd love if you wouldn't mind sharing us, uh, giving us a quick background, essentially, sure. and then a summary of what you do with both Meyer Music and Band of Angels. Sure. Well, so I'm first and foremost part of a family business here in Kansas City. We've been in business for 55 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, Started by my mom and dad, two true entrepreneurs who borrowed $6,000 from their landlord. They were living in his attic, 500 square feet, uh, to start Meyer Music. And so now we have three locations in Kansas City, and we service school districts in about a 100-mile area around Kansas City. Mm -hmm. I've been at it for, I can't even believe it, but 30 years now. Wow, congrats. That's excellent. uh, I've always loved music. Um, actually, did not get a degree in college in that because I wanted to do something different. Got a degree in graphic arts, but that's been incredibly helpful throughout our growth cycle because I'm kind of in charge of our, what I would say, our digital front-facing brand. Sure. Um, and just so I work a lot on branding and have really kind of transitioned the business in the 20 years, 30 years that I've been at that to more of a, a brand staple in Kansas City. So sure. That's what we're shoot, shooting sure. for. Awesome. And, and Band of Angels, they, they do some really unique things for the kids here yeah. in Kansas City, right? You, you mind filling in Kansas City and the viewers on, on that program? Sure. Well, that, that was started actually um, 12 years ago now. I got a phone call from Fox 4 TV here in Kansas City, and they said that they wanted to do something that would help the arts. Uh, they were doing a lot of stories about the arts being cut in schools, mm-hmm. and they didn't know exactly what to do. They knew that my family knew the arts, and we had connections within the schools, and so it was a logical uh, kind of marriage to start. Mm-hmm. So we kind of entered into a partnership together and created this thing called Band of Angels, which quite simply collects used music instruments from mm-hmm. people who are not using them anymore, mm-hmm. and we pair those up with students in financial need who mm-hmm. want to be in a school music program but can't afford the cost of the instrument. Sure. Or have some other prohibiting factor, you know, sure. foster care, sure. uh, kind of an emotional need situation, a parent situation, health concern, you know. Mm-hmm. So we, in the last 12 years, have, thinking we would do 50 instruments maybe mm-hmm. a year, we've given away over 2,600 instruments in wow. the last 12 years. That's incredible. So, and then we started a summer music camp program uh, to send those same students to summer music camps nice. wherever they want to go, anywhere sure. in the United States. So we've sent about 350 kids to camp. Okay. That's on full scholarships. I'm a, I'm a fellow drummer, so you know, I have a passion for that. And maybe 
the next Neil Pert, Buddy Rich, or, or <laughs> Travis Barker's out there yeah. somewhere that's being Coming impacted in. by that. So that's incredible. Well, yeah, it's, I mean, it's awesome to see the impact that you consistently make in KC, like we said. But, um, you know, one of the questions that we continually ask our guests this year uh, is regarding culture. You know, internally, um, you know, when you're looking for new hires at Meyer Music or even new, uh, you know, board members mm -hmm. um, or even, uh, you know, your rock stars as well. Like, what are some of those common characteristics you look for? Um, you know, when it comes to culture of the organizations? You know, I, I think it goes in line with your podcast, a team player. Mm -hmm. And the team in any organization, as you guys know, is, is incredibly important. If you can do something to make the culture good for the team, the team is more receptive to what you want them to do. Through that. And so we have really worked very hard to um, pre-band of angels, just build a team, uh, a family atmosphere where people knew that they were cared for, we did not do any layoffs. We did not get rid of anybody during COVID or any of the pandemic. Wow. Um, you know, we have a pretty skilled workforce that we have to keep uh, in order to do what we do. Mm -hmm. So that was important for us to know that we knew that we needed, we needed to take care of them and they knew that we were going to take care of them. So um, I think being a team player, being willing to do whatever, you know, my title might right. be manager owner today, yeah. uh, tomorrow it might be bathroom cleaner or, right. you sure. know, kid pukes on the floor and I've got to clean it up. So yeah. it, you know, it's not always glamorous, right? It is what it is. Yeah. Um, but we're always looking for people with really strong team ethic and, and making sure that they really want to work hard and, and just have a good heart. I think yeah. when people know where your heart is, that, that leads to great things. Love yeah. that. Absolutely. Well, the next portion is going to be this, this quick hitter portion that we briefly touched on before we got started here. So we'll do the first down sack Hail Mary in that order. Uh, first down is going to be a recent bit of success that you've had or your business has had um, that's led or will lead to consequential success down the road. Yeah, well, two things. We're always technology-wise trying to look forward and be in front. And about two years ago, we entered into a, um, a situation where we were trying to automate processes within mm -hmm. our company, moving to more of a tablet-based versus a paper contract-based system. Sure. We got that all completed right when COVID hit. Oh, and man. so all of a sudden we were sitting there with a touchless option for consumers. Um, we had no idea that that was gonna be the outcome. Right. That was gonna be what was gonna happen there. But it was a real win for the company. It shaved off about 30 minutes of administrative and work wow. time per contract. Mm -hmm. And it also made customers feel more comfortable and secure their data and everything else. So, so I think being a leader kind of looking for technology wise is important. Yeah. Uh, on the band of angel side, certainly building a diverse board. Mm -hmm. Um, we have been always trumpeting that since we started, but in, you know, with the recent unrest over the last three years, we were sitting there just poised and, and, and looking great uh, because we had had an inclusive yeah. mentality from the beginning. Sure. Okay. We wanted our board to be diverse. We wanted to represent the kids that we serve and the communities that they came from. Mm -hmm. And now we've transitioned that into the rock stars, which is probably be the biggest win for Band of Angels in the last year. This group of young professionals, much like yourselves, mm -hmm. uh, come from a very diverse background. Um, they, they show us all the faces of Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And um, they went out and really trumpeted our cause. So that was a, a huge win on yeah. that side. Yeah, yeah I've, are, I've had yeah. a number of friends uh, do that rock stars, um, you know, thing with Band of Angels, mm -hmm. and they've like just gushed about how much fun they've had with it. So it's uh, it's a great program. Oh, one hundred percent. Those are huge first downs. Those are like first downs, and then you gained an extra thirty or forty mm -hmm. yards with it there as well. <laughs> um, what about a sack or a recent setback that you've had to you know overcome or learn from? You know, I think whenever you're trying to uh, keep a large organization going like ours, mm -hmm. um, you know, you have to really sit back and, and look at kind of your costs and, and where people are. And, and so I won't say that we've had a lot of setbacks on that side, but we're always trying to make sure that we're thinking forward so that we don't take that sack, mm, you know. Sure. Um, I think on the Band of Angels side, you know, growing an organization has, is a challenge. When, I now sit behind a 30 year organization. So I've gone through a lot of the employees to find the right people that mm -hmm. fit, you know, on the team. And with Band of Angels, that's still a work in progress. So, um, but I always am a big believer that whenever you take, you know, two steps forward, even if you take one back, you took two forward mm -hmm. and you, somebody brought something great to the team that wasn't there before. And so you got to you got to focus on those things and then build upon those things right. versus lamenting that oh I got to start all over or shoot that person left now what am I going to do you know 
that person brought these three things we didn't have before. We're that much further than we were, you know. So just building on those. Yeah, yeah. I love that mentality, the, the half glass full sort of deal. So that's great. And lastly, Hail Mary, big goal that you're working on for the next 12 months. Well, that's a big one. Um, you know, obviously continuing to grow Meyer Music, uh, we're transitioning hopefully into fully into our second generation kind of now where my mm -hmm. brother and sister and I are more taking the lead role. Uh, parents are, are pulling back. Sure. Um, and then my younger son, John, has been in the company for about two years. So yep. he's taking on a larger role. So um, those are always Hail Marys. You know, mm -hmm. you, you hope that you're doing the right things. Um, the, the, on the Band of Angels side, we are now poised and ready to grow outside of Kansas City. So we are, you know, hopefully going to be launching our, our satellite um, group mm -hmm. or um, chapter uh, in hopefully Nashville in the next year. So there will awesome. be a band of angels, Nashville. And so what we really want to do is have those chapters across the country where the hub is here in Kansas city, all the back end infrastructure fulfillment, everything is done here. Anybody can apply anywhere in the country, you know, on the web for the instrument. And we, we have all the infrastructure to already get the instruments to them and everything. Right. So we just need sure. those chapters. Right. Sure. So, that's yeah. That's the that's the goal, you know. Whether we'll get it in the next twelve months, I don't know. But I, sure. you know, I think nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, you're thinking big. I love it. Yeah, yeah great it. vision, great vision. 100%. So off to talk and chop. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's time to talk and uh, talk some chop. Um, I don't really know if I want to. Is a problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> do we cut the show here? Yeah, or? I mean, yeah. What an embarrassing victory or uh, <laughs> loss on Sunday night. I mean. The guys just didn't come to play, and it was pretty evident from the start. Yeah. Um, you know, I, obviously the the rain factored in uh, towards the end of the game, mm -hmm. but man, we were already down and out by that point. Um, you were at the game; it kind of sucked, <laughs> yeah, didn't it? It, it was not <laughs> ideal whatsoever. It was honestly a embarrassing, you know, loss that we we took, and mm -hmm. and it came down, in my opinion, uh, to a variety of different reasons. But to sum it up, and, and a sentiment, and something I said in a previous episode, it's turnovers. You know, I believe we had four of them. Again, mm -hmm. you were just not going to win any football games with turning the ball over. Uh, we're a very momentum-based team. We didn't, we weren't ever able to get that spark rolling. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills constantly silenced the crowd. Yeah. I mean, you, you name it. it we just were yeah. not clicking. Right? Well, you at least got to watch it at home and stay dry <laughs> the entire time. Like, what were your thoughts on the game? I did. You know, the defense has got to get stronger. I mean, we, from a... Uh, from a money standpoint, we've spent the second most on defense yep. in the league, and we have the 28th defense in the league. Mm -hmm. So they have to find a way to get that solved. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, um, taking the deep game away has really – they've figured that out. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. you're seeing a yeah. lot of deep two cover, you know, mm -hmm. safeties yep. uh, to take Tyreek Hill out of the mm -hmm. game. Uh, so they got to get they got to get those underneath routes. I think also they're trying to go for the big play all the time yeah. versus – taking those short crossing routes and things that had got them there. And even yeah. if you go up to the game two times ago when they fumbled and lost the game right in that last 30 seconds when sure. we were lining up to kick it, sure, you know, you were hitting those short passes, it was working, and then unfortunately yeah. it, it fumbled. It, it sounds weird, but you saying that kind of just brings back memories of the old Alex Smith era, the little dink and dunk, yeah. and, and it wasn't flashy like Showtime Mahomes, as we know, can pull off all the time, but maybe we need to get back to something like that to get this momentum going create this snowball effect we'll have to see yeah i think you're missing sammy watkins more than you realize um yeah, which is it's kind of odd to think that he was such a pivotal part mm -hmm. of um just kind of disguising some of those routes or just being that you know number two receiver over the middle maybe josh gordon can get up mm -hmm. to speed we'll see not not entirely sure but he did look good uh in his brief action um, but we've got uh week six coming up mm -hmm. looks to be a sure rebound against the washington football team um you know, we had a pretty big gauntlet going through those first five weeks playing the Chargers, Browns, Ravens, and Bills, like right out of the yeah, gate. One of the toughest schedules. Oh, I yeah, believe, right? 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, we always give, uh, you know, the guests the first take, um, you know, for the game coming up. So, uh, with that, time's yours. What do you think? More Casey Wolf. It's always <laughs> good when you have Casey Wolf more in the picture. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I think they've just got to uh, tighten those things up and, and just, you know, get that defense get that mm. run game stopped on the other side of the ball. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously 
you know, whoever's going to be at running back, whether it's it's not Hilaire, but who, mm-hmm. whoever the Damian or uh, yeah. Daryl you know, yep. Daryl yep. Yep. Um, is going to be there. Those guys have got to get some runs going mm-hmm. to open up I that agree. passing game. Yep. So beyond that, I'm you know, excited to see Jarrett McKinnon get a little bit more of the ball. I mean, he looked pretty solid with a couple mm-hmm. of those runs, but um, get him up in his space. He can make some make some guys miss for sure. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll be an interesting game. I think Taylor Heineke is the mm-hmm. name of the Washington football yep. quarterback. So he's he's put together some decent um, you know drives that I've seen from some of the games that I've watched. I think he'll be a uh, it'll be a good competitor for Patrick. But this is 100 percent a rebound game for the Chiefs. You know, I, I don't see them losing this game. Uh, you know, knock on wood. Sorry to hit the table over there, Tucker. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's it's a it's a must win. Absolutely, I agree. No doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, back in 2019 when we won the Super Bowl, we started off the year, what, like four and three? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and we got it together. So I'm not, you know, hitting the panic button by any means. We have way too much talent on this team to not figure this out. Um, you know, I think Spags just needs to get a bit more creative, move Chris Jones back inside, get some pressure from the middle because we're clearly not getting it from the edge, uh, and maybe go look for a veteran pass rusher to kind of fill in on some of that. But uh, I agree, mm-hmm. must win game. Um, you know, Mike, do you have a, a score prediction for us at all? I don't know. Putting you on the spot. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Because whenever I do that, it doesn't go well. So I'm gonna <laughs> I like save it. all that. Out. I stick gotcha. with my Casey Wolf, and we'll, we'll there call we go. Like it. Sure. I like it. Sure. <laughs> what about you, Lucas? Um, I think we win in a good fashion. We'll go 31-21, Chiefs. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going along a similar route, but uh, let's say 38 to um, 24. Tucker, what are you thinking, man? I'm going 30. 32-18. Chiefs, for, obviously, hear, right? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, also, I forgot to mention, you know, we're back at Let It Fly Media's yeah. new studio for yeah. his podcast in the uh, the new dig. So appreciate the guys for having us in. Um, Mike, appreciate you being here you, uh, and giving Mike. us your time today. It was really interesting to learn a little bit more about Band of Angels and what you're doing with Meyer Music. Um, again, one of the the most well-respected family-run businesses here in town. Absolutely. Um, I appreciate so, yeah. that. Well, and I appreciate what you guys are doing, too, because you're the next generation. You both have a giving heart. You're involved in a lot of things in Kansas City. And uh, that's where it starts. So I'm very encouraged about the future if you two guys are at the helm. I appreciate that. Thanks, Mike. Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, that does it for week six of Talk and Chop, uh, brought to you by the folks at Chief of Staff KC. Uh, make sure you follow us along all week, uh, all year long, mm-hmm. uh, wherever you get your podcast, Spotify, YouTube, Apple, um, you know, whatnot. Um, but yeah, as we interview some of Kansas City's top execs and personalities uh, throughout the year. So, uh, Mike, again, thanks for your time. Uh, and as always, go, go Chiefs. Chiefs.